Today I'm showing you how you can download Fade Injector. Now, Fade Injector is Fade Injector is a program that can be used for the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft to inject DLL files, and this can have a bunch of different uses as well. I've got some more videos on this in my channel, so you know you can go ahead and check those out if you want to. Anyways, to download it, just head to the link in the description. It is a direct link that'll lead to their official GitHub page. Um, you know, I'm not providing you guys any links, um, so this is the just the direct official link to the download. To download the latest version, you should locate this bit over here, and the download, this is a link, you can click on that, and then as you can see in the bottom left of my screen, it has automatically started downloading. Now, Fade Injector will only work for Windows devices, however, it'll work for any Windows device. So, you know, that is the good part, I suppose. Anyways, to use this, it is really simple. You probably want to launch Minecraft, because that's what you're probably going to be using the program for. And then, what you want to do is just double-click on that. It's going to automatically open up. Um, no installer, nothing like that is needed. Yeah, um, and... And you'll see when, when you open it up, it's going to automatically um, create this config.txt um, file. That is fine. Um, it's just automatically going to create that. Anyways, to use this, what you want to do is you just want to select your DLL file with the select button here. And you'll be able to select your file. And then what you can do is you simply click on this big inject button. And it'll automatically inject um, the DLL file in the program up here, which in my case is Minecraft. If you want, you can select a custom target by clicking on this button, and you can select a different program than, for example, Minecraft, or you can select the automatically inject button, which will automatically inject this for you, and it'll try to every five seconds. If you are experiencing errors like crashing or something that says invalid file path, then I will link fixed videos for that down in the description box below, as those can uh, occasionally occur. Anyways, for right now, that was basically it. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.